Andrew, what is the issue with the DNA testing? Well, the issue is pretty simple. Look, we don't have a problem with the 742 other people who've come forward claiming to be heirs being genetically tested. But under the Minnesota Parentage Act, in a situation like our situation, where you have an individual, Dwayne Nelson, that has listed John L. Nelson, Prince's biological father, as Dwayne's biological father, the Minnesota Parentage Act does not require DNA testing from those folks. So to the extent you have the right dad listed as the biological father, in this case we do, we submitted it in that birth and death certificate of Dwayne Nelson, we don't have to submit to it. And that's not Andrew Stoltman saying that, that's in the Minnesota Minnesota Supreme Court. So we're going to ask the judge in this case to abide by the, uh, the decision by the Minnesota Supreme Court. Why does that have to be filed as such? Why doesn't the judge already abide by a Supreme Court decision? Well, we're simply telling him, uh, basically reminding him that this is his requirement. And, and look, judges can decide what they want to decide. But given we have controlling law, uh, you know, we think we're standing on pretty solid ground on this issue.